Hi guys. So today I would like to talk about cricket. So as the cricket World Cup fever starts to grip India and the Indian cricket fans, I would like to share a few incidents from uh, the nineteen ninety six uh, cricket World Cup final, uh, which was played between Sri Lanka and Australia uh, in, at a packed stadium in Lahore. So Arjuna Ranatunga, the then Sri Lankan captain, hit the winning runs uh, and led his team to glory, just like Dhoni did in two thousand and eleven. While reminiscing about the big final in an interview, uh, Ranatunga uh, shared a few incidents about that game. Uh, he recalled that in the morning of the final, he saw the entire Australian team at breakfast with their tensed faces. While looking for his own team, he realized that they had gone for buying carpets in a nearby shop. Initially, the Sri Lankan captain thought that his team is being complacent, but later realized that they were relaxed. And they weren't overthinking about the game. Ranatunga goes on to say that he told his family that Sri Lanka would win. The family asked, "How can he say that for sure?" So he said that his team looked calm, unlike the opponents who gave themselves the whole day to think about the final. Might as well ended up overthinking, which invariably leads to disaster. This teaches us that we should never let the gravity of a situation get the better of us, and our approach should be relaxed yet focused. Another incident from the match. Uh, which he shared is regarding the toss now all the previous world cup finals saw the team batting first win in this match though the chasing team won which was fitting for the sri lankans as they were known to be fine chasers in that tournament now indeed there was some confusion in the camp as to the decision to take if they win the toss and the advice of imran khan who was the previous world cup winning captain of pakistan to bat first further baffled the uh, captain sri lankan captain The general idea was to bat first and put the opponent under pressure in big games. However, Anatunga recollected seeing you on the ground in the evening, uh, in the evening time a few days back. The due factor invariably makes the bowlers struggle, and this was one of the reasons they decided to field first, which meant which meant that the Australian team, the star-studded Australian team, would have to field while the due formed on the ground. The other reason, of course, as mentioned earlier, was the fact that they were such a good chasers. This teaches us to play to your strengths and also uh, rely on current data apart from the historicals. Uh, this helps in effective decision making and, in turn, uh, good leadership. I hope you enjoyed listening to these incidents and the learnings. Thank you very much.